Hello and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, we're on the extinction map. And uh, I'm over in the, the desert biome because I'm interested in seeing, trying to catch one of these alonosaurs. You can see a little one wandering around there. I've built myself a trap over there to see if I can get, get uh, the attention of one of them because I'm I mean it's a bit early days but uh, from what I've seen they're a bit deceptive to be honest but I'm gonna see if I can try and tag this one and see if I can get it to chase me uh, it's pretty low level but um, yeah let's just see how this goes yeah that's what I'm saying it's a bit it's a bit deceptive ow 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 Ow, ow, ow. Like I said, they're, they're extremely deceptive. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to drag it over to here, but it's, it's like, it's, it's got like a, sort of like a long range. Are you, are you coming or what? Come on. Right, now, I'm going to put this thing over here now, just out of the way, because I'm... It's extremely deceptive. It's got a heck of a range on it. I mean, it's only like a level 24, but I want to see if I can, uh... Let's see if I can... Oh, Alright, well... At least it can't hit me outside. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I wondered what that was that came to like flying by. I mean, there's other stuff out here. There's, there's some uh, Yubrianus is going around. So that's not good. Right. Okay. So that's down. So that wasn't. That wasn't too bad. I'm just going to see what state uh, Sam is. That's what I call the, uh, the snowy owl. She's called Sam now. She took quite a lot of damage there. Because I've been, I've been actually watching these things. I've been out, out and about for ages and ages. Actually, I've been trying to find them. Um... Let's see. So you're, you're like a, you're a level 24 female. So that might, not, that's not too bad if the lay eggs. Because at least I could keep it for. For any possible kibble, so I'll, I'm gonna have to go out and find some uh, prime meat. But I found they're extremely deceptive because there was a 150 one, one of these. It was level 150. It was up against a level 18 rap, um, a level 18 allosaur, and the allosaur just tore it apart. But I found uh, there was a level 66 out here somewhere. I think it might be that one over there. Uh, is it that one? Yeah, there's definitely another one wandering around. Oh, it's a little level 6, but I... Could be that one over there, a level 66. The amount of damage that thing was chucking out. The, the, they've got... They, they shoot like arrows, or darts if you will, very similar to like the... The thorny dragons. What I'm noticing is up close... See there, that one's just gone down to a Kendro. Up close, they don't seem to be able to do much damage. But um, the range damage on them is, is blisteringly fast. You get a lot of little darts shot at you. It's like a machine gun. It's very, very quick. Let's see if I can watch. See if I watch these ones over here. Oh, it's a rock. That's not what I wanted. A rock element. <laughs> oh, just about to land on that thing. Oh, that would have gone so bad. I want to see if I can watch these ones over here because they're. It's just bizarre that when they fire these that little arrows. I mean, they're really. It's like. It's, as I say, it's like watching a machine gun. Anyway, I'm, I, I need to go and get some. Uh, see if I can find some prime meat around here somewhere. So I'll. Uh, I'll bring you back once I've. Um, I've got something for that. Uh, for that team. 
Okay, so it's it's Topo hasn't gone down rapidly, so that's a like a good sign. I'm I'm just making an assumption here that these things will uh, eat meat because they they are attacking like mostly herbivores or I noticed one of them was stupid enough to go after a Kentro mate. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Now the downside is <laughs> I don't have enough engrams left to. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't have enough um, have enough engrams left. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get a mind wipe tonic. So I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this thing here. It takes quite a bit to to make a, a mind wipe tonic. But I'm gonna have to do that, I'll have to leave you here. But it's um I'm gonna have to I'll, I mean I don't really want to use something like that to really test it against other other creatures, but I think the if I want like a higher level one, I think realistically I'd probably have to either sort of like um try and use the environment to shoot it and then maybe start chasing after it once it's you know got uh, too much turbo or uh, maybe tank it off the back of a, a pretty good mid-sized mount like a uh, like a thylacolio or something because I mean that thing was this is this was just like a small 24 and that was was putting I mean I'm just getting about three levels out of a like a stego and a um, uh, Carno to get some prime meat for this thing, um, and it was throwing quite a lot of damage at me with there uh, with the bolts. I mean, I'm, I mean, I've been out. I, I was out here looking for flowers, so I managed to get some silk to make some uh, some desert cloth. But I think I'd need some pretty good armor to be able to withstand some of the damage. I think this, I think the snowy owl here was taking about eight, twelve a shot, and there was quite a lot of shots. Uh, being thrown at it. I mean, just see what you're. What are you like? Actually, that's what, one other thing I've noticed about these snowy owls is. I had to go on the wiki eventually because it was like really puzzling me. Um, while I was out looking for snowy owls, I noticed that there was there was ones. I, I mentioned it on the last on the last video was that while this thing was out, uh, um, I was out and about trying to. Um, catch one of these. I noticed that there was some snowy owls that were attacking an, an ankylosaur and then I, I think I showed you on the video that well, there was one of them, it was like a level 168, it was it was attacking a, uh, a woolly mammoth and the woolly mammoth just didn't seem phased at all. Um, and according to the wiki it seems that these these don't these don't have any effect on um, on herbivores but I've, I've done my own test since and I think that might just be true for the wild ones. I don't think the wild ones do any damage to herbivores. So that will explain why the um, the Anglosaur and the, the woolly mammoth weren't bothered. But if, if I attack like uh, that stego over there for instance, I'll, I'll, I'll inflict damage on it. Um, she doesn't do much, she only chucks out about 66 damage any, at any given moment, like which isn't, isn't a great deal, but then to be fair she was only like level 90 when I got her. Um, pretty low melee. And there's, there's one other interesting thing I found, apart from the, um, if, if you drop from a height, it does this, like, damage, if you will. But what I've also noticed is, um, I mean, my health's at about 370 at the moment. Um, but, um, while that snowy owl is sitting on the ground, you can do pretty much the same thing. So if I hold the right mouse button, the snowy owl freezes itself, which is quite amusing. And it, um, that'll then freeze anything around around it, but it causes them to then heal. So, and it doesn't just heal um, any anything. I mean, it, around you, it also heals the uh, the actual rider as well, because um, the there's times where I've had like damage myself. Because I've, I've noticed, like my um, my food bar's gone rapidly down when I've I've been sitting on the ground and pressed the right mouse button for a while. 
all of a sudden my food level was just falling through the floor and when I checked I did a bit more digging around and observation and I noticed that my health had been going down and it must have been rapidly cons forcing, forcing, you know, forcing the, uh, the rider here to, to consume a lot of food at a rapid rate to heal itself which is quite bizarre um, but I could, I could probably do with like a, a higher level one I still need to build a uh, a bigger enclosure because I want to trap a, a higher level one and see what they're like because I know the griffin the griffin got nerfed it used to be able to do quite a lot of damage um, doing aerial bombardments or just crash landing on things um, whereas I mean that, they nerfed it and made it um, much weaker so it's not that really good for attacking at the moment at least this one isn't anyway as I said it's, it might be just because it's only level 90 uh, I probably want to see a higher level one to see you know what that one's like but um, yeah, a bit frustrated because I'm really trying to find a an Argentavis and struggling to see anything above like level 24 at the moment. Um, so I don't want to really just keep this one just for the sake of being able to fly around. I really want a, a decent Argentavis so I can uh, carry things as well. Um, otherwise, it's a bit uh, a bit frustrating. But uh, I'm going to have to go and make myself a mind wipe tonic. It needs quite a lot though, a lot of materials, a lot of stimulants and all sorts. Um, but I'm going to have to clearly reset my uh, my engram point so I can basically go and uh, make a saddle for that, uh, what's that, I think it's a Bologna, so. so I'll do that and then once I'm sorted I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've been out and about gathering up resources, I've been raiding some beaver dams to get the rare flowers and rare mushrooms. The narcotics were pretty easy enough. I already had quite a lot of those because I've been build, making a lot of narcotics as I got along and the stimulants just needed a load of stimberries so that was pretty easy as well. For the prime meat I've just been going out and um, tackling stegos and uh, some brontos just outside of the base really so Hopefully now I've got uh, I've got everything that I need to to make this. Um, right, yeah. So it says I've got everything. So start that up. And that'll make my um, my mind wipe tonic. It's basically what I want. Is I think there's quite a few saddles that I've. I learned because I assumed I'd probably need them. But I, what I want to going to do is I'm just gonna. Well, obviously I'll forget everything <laughs> in a short while. I'll, I'll, I'll forget about everything I've learned and I'll have to start again. So I'll just go through the process of learning um, what I need to just do which saddles I've got for now. So that shouldn't take too much longer. So what I'll then do is I'll just uh, just wipe my levels. Um, made a note of all these, and I'm just going to have to start from scratch. Learn quite a lot of a lot of things. Right, so there's our mind wipe tonic. Okay, so I can I can just basically relearn all of these, start from scratch, and um, then we'll go out. And Hopefully we can go and uh, bring that Volonoso back. So I'll sort these out and then head over to the Volonoso. Okay, so I've managed to reset uh, my levels and what have you, but uh, trouble is I'm going to have to go all the way back to, um, to Scorched Earth, for instance, because I, I, you can only learn these on Scorched Earth, and then there's the ones from Aberration, so. If I need any of those, I mean, I, d I definitely want to go back to Scorched Earth because I want to learn the uh, the Desert Armor, for instance. I can't um, I can't repair my Desert Armor without uh, knowing the Engrams. But these are, I must admit, they're a, I mean, they're a reasonable, reasonable speed. I mean, health-wise, this is only like a level. 24 I think it was so it's it's not a fair comparison but um, I mean on a left click it, I mean it takes a fair swipe 
Yeah, it's not really consuming much stamina on that. I don't it really matters. I don't know if it's alternate between each arm. Yeah, it alternates between each arm. Well, what is it? I think it's just totally random. But the interesting thing is, if I right click, it's like an AoE attack. Notice how much stamina, the stamina is completely drained. Because what I found is like, as I say, I mean, I've seen one of these, a level 180, it got, a uh, 150 rather, it got took down by a, um, a level 18 aloe. I mean, the aloe just basically just chewed it to pieces, so kind of makes sense. I mean, it's, I mean, it's got quite a bit of health. I think its main strength is ranged. Because what it's kind of odd this um, so it's, if you if you just right click it just like throws these like darts all over the place but if you if you press C it kind of goes into a crouch mode and then you've got like a targeting cursor but I've noticed that that consumes quite a bit of stamina as well so it so it starts to spit out little um, darts but. Yeah, stamina was, uh, the stamina drains really quick. Uh, do you mind? Ah, oh, we don't have friendly fire on. Um, but while you're in that mode, you can barely move. So I suppose what you could do then, uh, I mean for probably like a higher level one, because of the ranged attack, it didn't seem that phased, I mean, it wasn't... I uh, thought, I wonder how much damage it'll do. Its melee damage didn't go up much. Actually, what's its torpor like? It's not particularly high. The, um. It wasn't too particularly fussed, because I tried to tag it to get it to chase me. Uh, so that I could get it to run over the. over the, um. over the ramp there. But. The problem is, because it seems to be like a ranged attack creature, it wasn't overly fussed, so it just more or less stayed where it was and just kept shooting at me. So I had to really keep cajoling it to sort of keep uh, to get it to follow me. Um, so that sort of trap's not really ideal, I suppose, because it's as long as it's got you in line of sight, it's not going to move that far and chase you really. So what you could do is, I think as I was saying before, is maybe like use the environment. Because I've, I've noticed, I mean, I was once perched on top of those uh, mountains there while ones were just going by. And they were attacking me from above. So you could just keep shooting it with darts while you're on a, on a ledge and then just uh, wait till the turbo runs out. But then you'll have to chase after it. The only problem then is if you're exposed out here. I mean, I've found there's Euprianus out here. There's thorny dragons out here as well. I haven't seen any rock tricks here. Um, it's more the Eurianuses that I was bothered about. And other options, I suppose, you could, um, if you've got a decent, uh, like a mid level dino, you know, maybe so like a Thylacolio, for instance, you could probably just sit and tank it right up close. I don't know how much, I don't know how much damage it does up close. Uh, the trouble is, this, this is a really low level one. I'm, Kind of reluctant to uh, to use it because I'm assuming it probably lays eggs, and I'll probably I'll probably want the uh, the eggs for kibble. Let's have a look and see if I can find anything. I mean, what's that over that Morella tops is? Uh, well, there's a level six Morella tops. Let's just see out of curiosity how much damage it does. Its stamina is not too bad, actually it's not going down too quickly while I'm running. You know, for, for this sort of level that's that's quite a quite a hit that it's got. Yeah, it's too far out. It's too far out for me to range it. So yeah, I mean it's got quite um yeah, let's try that then. So I've got a left click to do that. So I put it into a sort of like a crouch and then left click. What, what is it? Oh yes, the right click. The right click's the um Ah oh, that's interesting, it seemed to be like overheating. 
try that out of curiosity. Oh, I don't have the stamina. You know, Murphy's Law running over Uriana's chasing this thing. <laughs> or a Kentro. <laughs> Oh great, it's running into more Morella tops. That's just what I don't need. I think I've left someone neutral, so I think I think she'll be fine. I was trying to see how much um how much damage it does with these darts, because I suppose that was the the advantage of the wild ones is they don't have um don't use up much stamina. I suppose maybe if you just um if you're not riding it, obviously it won't use any stamina. So you could just like order it to attack things. Ah, oh, there's another one over there. Oh, I have no idea where that thing's gone to. Is it? Ah, oh, it's getting late anyway. It's going to get dark um, in here. It's level 24. Let's try that and see what this is like. So. Ten and two. Ah, this is not good. I'm going to wait until the stamina gets um, back up. So it's not that. I mean, to be fair, it is a this this particular one is a low level. Um. So I, I wasn't really able to get any decent darts off it. I'll have to uh, I'll have to look for a higher level one and then um, tame one of those. The trouble is that I'm finding on this map it's kind of like the island where I mean even though I've got like the override set to six to give you maximum 180, it's very difficult to find like high level dinos. Which is frustrating. Right, so I think what I'll do, um, I'm just going to put this little trap back together. Um, then I'm going to take this back into the. Uh, oh, hang on, there's a thorny dragon over there. That's going to be a pain. Oh yeah, it'll have 96 as well. Yeah, I'm going to put this trap back together. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make my way back to back to the main base. I mean, that's a, another thing I found apart from like the difficulty of getting high-level dinos is there's quite a lot of gigas running around on this map in the wastelands. That's not uh, not nice at all. So fingers crossed, now I'll be able to get this uh, this one back to base then. Uh, so see you shortly. Well. I finally managed to get back to base. Um, it's probably just as well it's got a good uh, stamina on this thing because it, it lasted quite a while, so I only had to stop every so often. But uh, poor Sam over there took a took a real beating because I came back on this uh, Velonosaur with uh, Sam in tow. Uh, we got pounced on by a was it a dire wolf? So we just kept out trying to outrun that, but then we picked up a corrupted. Um, Tyranodon and they kept attacking Sam. I mean, Sam was down to hardly any health because I was just leaving, leaving her just to follow. I didn't want to stop. Um, so it was a case of every so often I had to, I had to just try and keep this Tyranodon away, though. So I kept putting her on neutral. That and she was doing some, spending some time fighting it, and then following back again. Um, Eventually, I just had to stop, and well, quite lucky. I mean, managed to kill this dire wolf with uh, the Velonosaur. Uh, but I had to, I had to get Sam to land so I could get her to finish off the Tyranodon. Uh, and then we ran into some defense units outside, and there's a there's a blooming carnal just underneath the ramp here. So that was uh, that was pretty lucky. We just just about managed to get back in one piece, fortunately. So. It's definitely an interesting. I mean, uh, it's definitely an interesting dino to look at. It's very, uh, it's very well put together. I must admit, I really do like the uh, the aesthetics on it. Um, I mean, it's pretty quick to ride, and it's um, it's 
it's got some interesting attack methods. My, my only concern, though, is as I say, I mean, I've seen a a one fifty in the wild, and it was taken down by like a only an eighteen Allosaurus. I mean, I must admit the Allosaurus it was kind of strange because the Allosaurus every so often it would break off and go and attack something else, then it would come back and attack this Volona. So, um, so I don't know. I mean, up front. I mean, it, it puts out quite a bit of damage, even at this low level. I suppose at a higher level, it'll be a lot better, especially if you get imprint one. But I don't know at this stage if you could uh, breathe them. I'm assuming so. I mean, it's it's a bit difficult to tell, though. It could be a bit deceptive. I mean, it says they enable wandering to mate. Uh, and that one's got enable wandering to mate as well, but it doesn't always necessarily mean that they are going to actual actually mate though and you know you'll get off offspring from these uh, from dinos I've seen that with other ones before you know we get males and females but they don't necessarily breed so I'll have to get myself a male um, a male one of these now a male what male one of these snowy owls I mean this I mean these ones are really odd though because these are like some sort of like cyborg I'm not quite sure what to make of these things uh, and the one strange thing I found is like while running around you get like a, a an icy breath from, uh, uh, coming out of them which is quite interesting but they really do look uh, nice dinos um, range wise they're pretty brutal I mean they, can, they seem to be able to rip things to shreds in the wild probably you know, from especially from range. I'm not so sure, as I say, you know, up close. I'd have to find out, um, I'd have to find out with a higher level to see what one of those is like. Uh, see what they like up on, you know, short range combat versus long range, because the stamina on this one was just, it was just nose diving. I could, I could barely shoot anything, really. A couple of shots and that was it. That was it. It was just finished. But, uh, I really do like the look of it. Definitely a, definitely a nice dino. I mean, at the very least, I'm, I'm pretty sure this has got a. I mean, there's only a, there's only a few dinosaurs that have been released in this DLC, so I've got to assume that this one at least has got to lay eggs, because um, it's going to be kibble to tame these uh, dinos with. It's very unusual where it's kibble from like an existing dinosaur. They usually like they release the new ones and what have you, and that will probably be from you know kibble from a. One of the newer dinosaurs. It's lovely colours, I must admit. I really do like them. The way they're... this one in particular, it's uh, the very nice uh, colours that it's got. If you look at those little, I mean, this one looks. It looks like another kind of like cyborg sort of thing. You know, it's like an augmented dinosaur, or a you know, someone's like come up with them come up with the idea of one and uh, created some I mean it's not quite the same as I mean Sam Sam definitely looks like a, some sort of cyborg you know with those sort of eyes and the uh, what have you I mean that looks like a, a dino you know, what you'd expect it to a dino but it's been tweaked a bit Yeah, so I, th I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go out and uh, definitely get some higher level ones and see what uh, see what they're like in comparison. Um, although I still think like the snowy owl is more for just scouting around, basically. It's not. I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit miffed that you can't um, pick anything up with it. So I'll just have to keep persevering with trying to find a decent uh, Argentavis, I guess. Oh well, never mind. Well, I mean, that's all for this video. I uh, do hope you liked it. If so, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like. Any comments or suggestions you've got, we'd greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, then do please subscribe. Uh, you'll get daily reminders as new content comes out. So thanks for watching. Until the next video. Bye.